Okay, so before we begin, full disclosure. Um, what I'm about to show was given to me for free for the purpose of doing a video review. So with that much out of the way, let's get down to it. So what we're checking out is probably one of the most complete Arduino starter kits that you're likely to find. Um, basically it has everything you need to dive into the world of programming microcontrollers. So um, without prattling on too much longer, let's have a look at what you get. So to begin we have a breadboard to connect things into, sensors and whatnot, and to connect different things to each other we have a good selection of jumper wires. Some of these ones and some of these DuPont style ones which I really really like. So moving right along we also have some motors. Um, we have this little motor here from Freenov. There's a little propeller or fan piece, whatever you'd like to call it. So you can make yourself a little fan or something. Um, we also have a stepper motor and also a servo motor. So digging deeper into the box of goodies, we have the development board itself. It's an Arduino Mega 2560. I'm not entirely sure of the specs on that, um, but that's something you can look up yourself. A decent board though. Decent board. Um, to power that, um, we, we have a couple of choices. We have this power supply, 9 volt, 1 amp, and also we have a little 9 volt battery here and a little connector so we can connect it into here and power the Arduino. Also very cool to find is this, um, what do you call it, a kind of prototype expansion shield which basically connects into the top of the development board. I won't jam that in right now. But it gives you access to all the pins and also you have this tiny little breadboard to make prototyping easier and if you're basically satisfied with what you have you can basically connect all your components into this board, solder them into the place and you have everything together in one neat unit which is really really cool. Okay so we also have a cable which is a USB type A to USB type B um, correct me if I'm wrong uh, two purposes of the cable I mean it plugs into here and one thing it will do is power the board for us from the 5 volt, five volt supply coming from your USB port and also it enables us to upload our code from our computer into the board itself. So I'm digging a bit deeper we find this um, <coughs> 4x4 matrix style keypad and also a neat little infrared remote control. So digging deeper into the box of goodies we find a four digit display, a single digit display and also this cool little beastie it's an 8x8 dot matrix display module. Okay we also have a little pile of LEDs always useful and fun things to have in an electronics project we have as you can see red, green, blue, yellow and clear and uh, cool addition is this uh, RGB LED which as the name applies does red, green and blue and so the things still keep coming a uh, couple of 10k potentiometers a uh, little selection of transistors and a uh, very useful indeed thing a 5 volt relay ok so what else we got trying to get through this stuff still um, some ceramic capacitors some electrolytic capacitors and uh, a couple of light dependent resistors which is kind of cool okay still digging uh, 
A couple of little microphone looking things. I'm not entirely sure what they are, which is pretty bad. Um, some momentary switches. Um, we have an 8-bit shift register. Um, we also have a motor driver. Um, here we have some rectifier diodes and this little puppy here, I think, I think it's a, ther a thermistor. And still more things. <clears throat> so we have, um, what is it, the DHT11. It's a temperature and humidity module, which can be used for a cool project. And another cool thing, um, it's kind of <clears throat> voice is failing me already. It's a breadboard power module. Uh, kind of outputs either 3.3 or, or 5 volts. And I think it takes in about uh, between 6.5 and 9 volts in. So, very cool, very handy. Okay, we also have a, a water sensor module, a sound sensor module, and this um, interesting little BC, so 360 degree rotating encoder module. So, <laughs> would you believe it's still coming out of the box? <laughs> um, what is this? Uh, an accelerometer? A gyroscope? Um, this, I believe, is an infrared sensor. And also, what do we have here? Um, let P a PIR sensor. Good gosh. So many things. We also have a PS2 game joystick module, an ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so we also have a pack of resistors here, um, about 120 resistors from any, from 10 about 10 ohms through to one mega ohm, and we also have here a real-time clock memory module. And the cool stuff keeps coming. We also have a, uh, a stepper driver board for that stepper motor. And um, this really cool 16 by 2 display. And even cooler, it has the uh, I2C or I2C module attached. So instead of having to make 16 or so connections back to your Arduino, you only have to make four. So that leaves plenty more open pins on the Arduino for you to use. And lastly, but by no means least, um, we have this cool RC522 RFID read and write module together with a key fob and a card. So if you're into learning about RFID and want to make, let's say, an RFID lock, cool thing to mess around with. So there you have it, a boatload of cool things to make all kinds of cool projects really. And amazingly, <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of stuns me to think about the, all of that is only 59 bucks Australian, which is seriously bloody good value. So if you're interested in learning something about electronics and microcontrollers and you don't have a lot of money to throw at it, or you just want to save some money. Links are in the description. It's like about 41% off what it would normally cost, so make the most of it. <laughs>